What's up, summoners? Claire here. From the day that you start playing Epic 7, you are told that the only hunt you should ever worry about and focus on is Wyvern because speed is king. Well, what I'm here to talk about is that Wild Wyvern is an incredible hunt and the place you will be spending a majority of your time, there's another hunt that you should not be ignoring that is becoming increasingly more popular, particularly for late game players in PvP. And that is going to be none other than Banshee 13. So today we'll talk about what makes Banshee 13 so good and the sets from Banshee so powerful, as well as why has it become so popular now. But with that, let's get right into it. If you like the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and join the Discord server. Link down in the description. So how the video will roll out is first we will talk about Wyvern as a hunt. What makes it so good, right? Because essentially you're spending most of your time here. Why would you ever want to leave Wyvern for something like Banshee? That's why we have to first talk about what makes Wyvern good and what are some of the weaknesses of the Wyvern sets. Then we'll talk about Banshee as a hunt, what you get versus that what that you don't get from Wyvern. And then we'll talk about why is it becoming so much popular now. So with that, first let's start with Wyvern Hunt. What makes it so good? Well, it houses none other than the speed set, which is going to be the most general set in the game. It's good for PvE, it's good for PvP, it's good for bruisers, it's good for speedy DPSs, it's good for supports, it's good for tanks. It pretty much is the shoe that fits almost every unit in this game, and it's because it gives such a big stat boost of 25% speed. Roll for roll, it is the largest stat boost that you're getting, because 25 to 30 speed is nothing to laugh at. The other thing is that you are getting access to the crit set, which allows you to build your speedy DPS units, and the way that you typically win in Epic 7 is by doing damage, right? Because you have to win, you have to do damage, so you're getting the speed set and the crit set to be able to do the job. This is particularly good for early to mid game players because not only are you getting a bunch of gear that can fit on a variety of units so you can get a variety of different substats that so you don't have to look for specific ones, you're also getting the crit set so your DPSs can do more damage. So in those early days of arena, you're able to cleave and you're able to climb the ranks of arena and get higher up in the game. That's what makes Wyvern really, really good. The reason why people farm it is mostly because of that speed set though. For cleavers, they need to take turn one. Speed is king for cleavers. If you don't take turn one in a cleave, you're most likely losing that game, right? So if you get outsped, you lose the game. And speed set is what's gonna guarantee you that turn one. Without speed set, you're not taking turn one. So for cleavers, that's really big, really big. For four aggro players, same idea as cleavers. And then for a lot of different units, they need it to be able to cycle their skills faster. So like supports, they need the speed set to be able to cycle better and support your team better, which is why Wyvern is so good. So now that I talk so much good stuff about Wy Wyvern, you might be wondering, man, you sold me on Wyvern and this is supposed to be a Banshee video, Kick Blair. Where are you going with this? Well, now let's start looking at some of the weaknesses about Wyvern. And a lot of players fall into this category and I see it all the time. A lot of players, to get later on, they realize they don't have all the cleave units. They don't have all the aggro units, but they're still farming Wyvern. And they're like, King Blair, I can't play PvP because I'm always getting outsped and all these people luck sack speed rolls, I can't do anything, right? And they focus a lot on turn 1 teams. Well, as you get later on in the game, and even now, turn 2 teams are actually becoming increasingly more powerful and by sacrificing that speed set, you can oftentimes get better effects for your team. And that is where the Banshee hunt comes into play and why a lot of people farm it exclusively. I've even started like 90% of my time is spent in Banshee now over Wyvern because of the power of the sets that it has. So what does a Banshee set offer that Wyvern doesn't? Well, the fourth set is going to be the counter set. The counter set essentially lets you act on your opponent's turn. This is incredible for Bruiser units with big S ones or even think Landy, think Rem. Think even units like even tanks. Think Crimson Army, right? Think of all these different, even supports like the Stina, even Ruel to an extent could technically use Counter Set, right? Because Counter Set, what it does is for sacrificing that speed set that Wyvern provides, you're able to get the 20% chance to attack when you are hit. And a lot of times that can win you fights because 20 to 30 speed on a slower unit, it's 25 speed, right? So for that 25 speed, that means you're cycling another unit out every one once every four to five turns but if you counter once by sacrificing that you essentially make it up because with a nice little counter 
you are getting quote unquote an extra turn in damage right so with all these big s1 type units that's why counter set is so good then there's the lifesteal set the idea of lifesteal set is yes you're sacrificing that 30 speed or 25 speed depending on the, the speed of the unit mostly 25 speed for most intensive purposes you're sacrificing that but you're getting the opportunity to heal off of your damage and by healing you're surviving longer and if you're surviving longer you're taking more turns therefore making up the fact of that 30 20 25 to 30 speed more turns equals more damage and slice steel and then of course you have the destruction set which honestly is probably the weakest set uh it still works for some dps units but for the most part not a set that you see a lot and then of course the other set is the resist set that there are so many good soul weavers out there that you can farm resist set and you will get it by naturally farming these and you can make your units a lot less susceptible to getting debuffed which allows your turns to take units to take turns if your car is 150 fres and it doesn't get stunned that means it's taking another turn that a speed only would not have been able to do right so that's why resist set can be good at certain times or for a support instead of immunity if you invest more in resist then you're able to essentially have longer term longer fights so are you starting to see the banshee effects essentially offer longer term effects for longer fights the longer the fight goes the more valuable the banshee sets become whereas the wyvern sets the longer the fight goes the less valuable the sets become because once a speed set yes you're cycling here and there but for the most part what you're really trying to do is get that turn one right after turn one the speed set is not as critical unless you have a cycling unit and the crit set is just a stat boost where you can you could have something well crit set is still good and it, that one is just good overall but with that then you start seeing why banshee right banshee is really nice for slower players so now what has made it popular now why not before right banshee has been around since the game first came out and wyvern was always king so why banshee well there's been a lot of stuff that has changed in the past speed was king if you didn't take turn one you were losing right there was not a lot of really good defensive units with the best one being fallen cecilia right that was like the pinnacle of like a good defensive unit but now there are so many defensive options and even dps units have self built in sustain that allow them to survive that allow them to take turns that you don't need that turn one as much anymore and that is what's allowing it when we look at the big dps units that are out right now you start to see this first think of landy right a lot of people have searched the landy off of speed set because why do you need her on speed set when she could be on counter on counter she counters once she already basically made up for the for the lack of speed because you're getting cr pushing because you're doing damage and because you're ramping up to your s3 so counter set really nice for landy right and you can make her survive you can make her do damage that's why people are starting to switch over to landy with counter set then you look at someone like specter tenebria right that 25 speed what does that 25 speed get you in a fight it gets you what one more turn right but if you're lifesteal they have to struggle to try to kill her because if they don't have the burst damage to kill you on a lifesteal set you'll just heal it all back with your high damage while doing damage allowing you to stick around for longer and do even more damage right so that's another unit that has become increasingly more popular and even things like rylet and violet right especially with violet with lifesteal you can survive for a long time with violet because hey he already counterattacks. he already cr pushes on his own he already does all this stuff on his own why wouldn't you give him lifesteal and even things like charlotte same thing lifesteal if they can't kill you because you're doing so much freaking damage on the enemy what are they gonna do right you're doing damage and healing they can't kill you you're doing more damage you're winning more right that's why lifesteal has become so popular now than it ever was we are getting these type of units that can survive big hits that can stick around for long fights and utilize the banshee set to its max potential versus before when you use speed set after turn one you don't get these super special effects right that you're getting with these units so that is why banshee is starting to become more and more popular it's because overall turn two teams are a lot stronger and there are a lot of units that utilize those sets and only really work with those sets for some units right so that is going to be why banshee is on such a big uptick 
Now, this does not mean that you should ignore Wyvern. By all means, no. Wyvern is still going to be where you spend most of your time, right? Because of the how general the set is, because some units still need that turn, get, try to get as fast as possible to cycle their skills. Don't ignore Banshee though, because if you're a Brewster type player, you honestly would benefit more from having a unit on counter set than you would from a speed set. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see you next time. Peace.